After showcasing his art at the CSU Lower Gallery in 2021, our Associate Director of Student Activities, Greg Wilkins, moves forward with his art as it takes an international stage with the Gay Men's Chorus of Washington, D.C. This is a, a, an opportunity for artists from around the world to come together um, with their two-dimensional pieces, and then those works are going to be reinterpreted um, with a composer, lyricist, um, and choreographer. Those images with the work will be go hand in hand. So whenever the work is performed, the images will also then be showcased. Stemming from a larger artistic collection that Wilkins commissioned called Portraits, Wilkins' art was selected from a pool of over 400 submissions, where he will be one of nine artists featured with his own original piece called Black Lives Matter, Keep Your Eye on the Prize. It's an image of a woman of African descent um, and she is blind in one eye and the other eye she has a target. She's also looking to the side as um, giving a periphery as to where the past has been, but also the where the future may be going with regards to social justice and equal opportunities and equity for all, all people, but particularly focusing on the African American community. According to Wilkins, much of his artistic messages come from his own experiences with social disparities. Wilkins comes from a multi-ethnic, multinational family, where he gained personal experience of the harms and traumas of racism from the South during the 70s. Additionally, Wilkins experienced firsthand the prejudice against art that promoted social change during his undergraduate work at the Smithsonian American Art Museum in the 80s. At that point, Congress, um, there was the cultural wars, felt that some of the images that were being produced through the National Endowment were um, an insult to, to the American public. With my art, um, I've always been focused on issues of social justice and care for all people, but that has also continued to grow in my other work that I do philanthropically, working with indigenous communities across the planet Earth. Once all the art is copyrighted, the artwork will go on tour. The world premiere will begin sometime in June 2024 at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. From there, the art will travel to places including Minneapolis and other locations to be determined. I am flattered to be able to work um, with such giants in the industry, um, and I'm hoping that this moment will be able to continue to bring um, insight and acknowledgement to all people, but particularly those who continue to fight for equity and inclusion, regardless of the color of their skin or their gender and identity and expression. Congratulations to our own Greg Wilkins. With the CSU, I'm Maddie Paul reporting.